Hello, Leo, my awesome lions and lionesses. I missed you. Leo, happy Friday to you. Happy weekend to you. I hope you have a beautiful, relaxing weekend. And if you do have to work, uh, find some leisure time for yourself that you know you are deserving, Leo. Let's do this. I'm excited for us. Um, I love weekends. Let's do this. So, um, Leo, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So first we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with facing in your life and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. First, we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally, what's on their mind, what they're thinking, feeling at this time, especially in relation to you, Leo. Universe, please step into your very clear and important messages for the sign of Leo, for Leo's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo in their life, and how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Leo in their life? And how is Leo currently doing on their soulmate journey? One extra card looking at me here. Very powerful. Wow, Leo. This is you concentrating heavily on what's important to you. So you have some kind of project on your mind heavily uh, that it looks like you're going to accomplish. Yeah, you see, this is you driven to accomplish something that is emotionally... Um, important to you yeah this is you being pulled in many different directions in your life right now but you are approaching your life uh, wisely you're making wise decisions for yourself you are prioritizing yourself correctly right now it looks like you're not in a relationship with a soulmate like you are a single available whoever it was that you let go of uh, you you felt you had to walk away because it was um not fulfilling emotionally yeah you didn't feel emotionally fulfilled hmm a lot of you are dealing with cancerian 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 showing up here it could be any sign but this is these two cards are showing the sign of cancerian energy you are very determined to accomplish something of great importance to you you have the power you have the willpower to succeed uh, whether it has to do with business or job. Oh, communication showing up here. You're going to have an opportunity to travel somewhere, most likely far because the sky is showing up here. Whether you take that trip or not will be up to you. Yeah, look at this. This is you trying to balance your energy. This is you being very spiritual and trying to make wise decisions. You're very observant, analytical, strategic this is you trying to balance yourself between your physical life and your spiritual life. So it shows that you are very intuitive, spiritual. Yeah. Let's see. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Leo. And how is Leo currently doing on the summit journey? What's coming up for Leo? And how is Leo currently doing? Yeah, I see. This is you feeling unfulfilled emotionally in that relationship that you were in because the cups are empty. You feel like you put in so much work, effort, time, energy into that relationship. And for some reason, your soulmate didn't meet you halfway, didn't reciprocate, didn't offer commitment. Or if they did, something was done where your trust was betrayed and you felt empty emotionally, unloved, unfulfilled. Yeah, you see, you want a relationship that's emotionally fulfilling, that's authentic, where you don't feel like you have to investigate what the other person is doing, where you can trust them. Trust has to be earned, right? Yeah, trust has to be earned. Look how strong you are. Beautiful energy to describe you. This is you healing, releasing the past. Yeah, some new beginnings coming to you. You are manifesting these new beginnings, blessings in your life. Your energy is beautiful. You're showing up here as concentrating heavily, something to do with your job business, like purchasing, because you're holding a pentacle here, you see? 
you're holding a pentacle here and it's on top of chariot. So it's something to do with you wanting to buy or purchase something of importance to you. Like something important. But it's not shallow purchasing. It's something meaningful spiritually, emotionally. Yeah, something that is meaningful for you uh, emotionally. Beautiful. Yeah, look how much power you have within you. You see, look at this magician with this kind of energy, king of wands and magician energy. You can uh, really manifest what is important to you, what you want to see in your life. Your soulmate is thinking of you, missing you, but it looks like they have very hard time initiating communication, even though they want to communicate with you so badly. Uh, they, they don't express emotions easily. They don't like to be seen as emotionally vulnerable. Yeah, you had to let this uh, relationship go, at least for time being. You see, there was a breakup. The tower moment happened. So something was heading in the wrong direction and you had no choice but to uh, let go of this situation. Look at all these major arcanas. Life Force cards. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wow, that's powerful. Eight major arcana Life Force cards. This is... Very powerful. Whatever you're dealing with in life this year is going to have uh, life-lasting uh, effects on you. Yeah, so it's, it's good that you are very strategic, careful how you work around different situations, how you plan your life, because it's going to have long-lasting uh, effects on your life. Yeah. Universe, please show us. Yeah, I see. This is you looking at everything objectively. And making wise decisions. You know, please show us what's coming up for Leo in their life. And how is Leo currently doing? Yeah, you see? Uh, you are closed off emotionally with your heart right now. This shows, because of the way it's painted, that you've endured a lot of heartbreak, betrayal in a relationship. And you had to release yourself of that connection relationship. This is you retreating in solitude. Not really looking at this time for any new soulmates or romantic escapades this is you wanting to heal and make wise decisions about your life and your future energy is beautiful you see be careful what you wish for you're gonna get it keep your mindset as positive as possible because whatever we think of the most our minds are so powerful we actually attract to our 3d physical reality this is you uh manifesting what's important to you Oh, I'm so happy. The best card in the whole deck, the sun, which also represents the sign of Leo. Uh, this is you healing. This is uh, showing very clearly because of the way it's painted that you are healing from heartbreak. You are letting go of the past. You are no longer hanging on to emotional baggage. You are uh, leaving the past in the past. You're not living in the past. You're letting it go. You're healing. You're forgiving. You're releasing, moving on. Yeah. You have a lot of distractions around you. So keep being selective who you call your friends, who you associate with. Yeah, because some of the people um, looking for your attention are showing up here in, uh, in a form of snakes. So be careful. Uh, who you hang around with, who you trust. Keep being selective. Keep having high standards because people that uh, show up here, some of them here could possibly drain your energy, make you feel very tired, exhausted, drained. So yeah, be very selective who you spend your time with, who you call your friends or even acquaintances. Yeah, very important. Wow, Leo, I'm so proud of you. You are fearless. Let's see what's going on with this soulmate of yours. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo. And how is the soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time? What's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo? And how is the soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time? Wow. You are very important to this person. They kind of worry because they view you as the catch, as single available. This person is wondering, is there somebody else in your life? They view you as very independent. Yeah, this is them holding back, not wanting to show 
uh, how they are affected emotionally by this loss of you from the life. You see, look at this. This is them trying to correct whatever errors, mistakes were made. You see the strain on their face, like they are concerned. This person is unable to stop thinking of you. A lot of you are dealing with Libra, Leo, Virgo, Taurus. Yeah, this is them trying to make wise assessment of this whole situation. Trying to make wise decisions. Huh. Just realized something. Uh, Leo, for those of you that had a pet that passed away, that pet is around you and um, uh, aware of what's going on in your life and how you are doing, how you're feeling emotionally, very attached to you, emotionally from other lifetimes. So whether that pet was, uh, let's say, a cat, dog, uh, a squirrel, a turtle, whatever it was, it's attached to you emotionally, even after passing. How beautiful is that? I still have my cat who died in... 2004 he's still my stalker 2004 he died almost 20 years ago and he's still around me and as a matter of fact one of my friends came over and i never showed him the picture of my cat because the cat passed away before i met my friend louis and when my friend louis came over one day to visit me he was like acting weird. So I asked him, what's wrong? I said, do you want to go home? He goes, no, there's a cat here. Uh, and he described exactly how the cat looked and how nosy that cat was. I said, yeah, that's Tigger. My precious Tigger. Tiger, Tigger. Yeah, he's still stalking me. I love that cat. I miss him so much. Okay, let's do this. Universe, please show us. Um, what's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo and how is the soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time? Wow, this person's concerned that somebody else is entering your life. Yeah, this person's concerned that you may not want to um, see them or talk to them at this time. Yeah, you see, they heartbroken. This is them heartbroken over losing you having hard time initiating uh, communication. Yeah, this person wants to resolve things between you two. They care for you emotionally. It shows it here. Yeah, they're wondering. They want to know. So they are checking up on you through videos like this, private reading, social media, any way they can. They want to know who is in your life, who is interested in you. New soulmate entering your life. It doesn't mean you have to marry the new soulmate, Leo. But you could make valuable friendships with new soulmates. Yeah. The person that you let go of wants to communicate with you so badly. Yeah. They feel unsettled, unresolved. Yeah. You see, unexpected communication showing up here. They wish to have this communication so badly with you. But you have new soulmates approaching you. My two favorite kings show up in here. King of Wands and King of Pentacles. This person is trying to figure out, do they have the right to come towards you to, to even expect a conversation? They're not sure. They're trying to be respectful of you. Let's see. Universe, please show us. This was a serious relationship, whether you were married, living together, or engaged. This was a serious relationship for the both of you. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Leo. And how is the soulmate of Leo towards Leo at this time? Yeah, you see, they want to break silence, communicate with you. Wow, they have so much respect for you, Leo. They view you as holding Empress energy. So whether you're male or female, you are holding Empress energy. Yeah, you have high standards. Uh, you are very picky. You want to be with people who reflect your energy of high vibration. Yeah, you see, this person wants to correct what was done wrong. You see, justice with Ace of Swords. They're checking up on you heavily. They are keeping tabs on you, want to know what's going on in your life. And they may be asking a person that both of you still know mutually, how you doing? This person wants to know your state of mind, how you feeling. Um, 
Leo, we're going to go into your extended reading and ask about this soulmate and the new soulmates that popped up as King of Pentacles and King of Wands. First, we're going to ask about this soulmate's true, genuine, long-term intentions and plans for you at this time. What they planning long-term. Then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you, what they have up their sleeve, whether they hiding it on purpose or can communicate for whatever reason, but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good. And of course, at the end, we're going to ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life, including new soulmates entering your life that showed up as King of Wands and King of Pentacles, new chapters, new beginnings in your life. Also, your health, finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Leo, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.